So this is MATLAB Grader. And um, so we're asked, I uh, just made some video examples uh, to be able to show you how to use it. Um, so it asks you to create a function called um, miles per hour to meters per second. So this bit right here, this is the name of my function. Um, and that function is going to convert miles per hour or MPH to meters per second. And so when I run this function, miles per hour to meters per second, um, this is the value I'm putting in it. So I can test it with different values. And then the output is going to go into this variable name, so MPS. So all I do um, to, to uh, submit this is I have to create, this is my function and I need to input things in here. So wherever there are question marks, I need to uh, fill in the question marks. Otherwise this won't run. Like if I ran this right now, a uh, run function, uh, let's see if I do, um, so if I just copy this and then run this down here. So this allows me to try my function down here and the code to call your function. So I'm gonna say MPH, uh, oops, is equal to say 10, um, so miles per, yeah, let's do 10 miles per hour. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna take 10 and input it here. And then it's gonna call this function up here and it's gonna put 10 in here. And so where you see MPH, which would be right here, it's gonna put 10. And I need to fill in in my function these other values. Um, so if I just run my function now, it's gonna give me an error, right? Because it says invalid use of operator and line three. And so if I go to line three right here, it doesn't, this question mark, it's not a, um, it's not the value it needs. So I know the number of meters in a mile um, for my conversion factor is 1609. So I fill that in. Um, and now if I run it again, I'm still gonna get the same error you'll see down here because um, it'll say invalid use of operator again, but this time it should change it to line four. Give it a second. And it says uh, line four. And so that's just because it's, you know, it found this question mark, it doesn't know what to do with it. So the number of seconds in an hour, I know that's 60 times 60, which is 3,600. And now if I run it again, it'll give me the same error here because I've got uh, two question marks. So, um, so the number, so what I wanna do is I wanna use the number of seconds right here in an hour. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste this um, here. So the number of seconds in an hour and then number of meters in a mile. I'm gonna put that in the denominator. Let's see if that works. So if I run this now and I get a my um, meters per second of 22, um, and so I can try running a pretest. So if I run a pretest, um, in some examples you'll see like the code actually, but in others you won't. But we can just run the pretest with our function um, and see if it if it's correct or not. And it's not, so it has an incorrect value. So what it's doing is it's comparing this function that we wrote to the function um, behind the scenes that you don't see, uh, and it's testing our function against that function. And so um, if I uh, think about this miles per hour, right, I need miles on the, um, on the bottom. So really I wanna change this. So I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna switch them. So I'm gonna say, this one's gonna go here and then this one's gonna go here. And so that's the kind of how you can play. You can try this out now and see. And as I'm doing this, I'm usually writing it all out. Um, I can run my function, right? Uh, so it's got an incorrect value. So let's see. Um, oh, so it, it's, uh, it's running. Let's see if I run this function. Uh, it doesn't give me anything. Let's see if I run my pretest. Both of my pretests passed. And so once your pretest passed, you're probably okay to submit your function that it's probably right. And what it'll do, it'll run this last test to see. So I hit the, if I hit submit, I can check and see. And it passes all my pretests. So um, I can keep working on it or um, I can look at past my solutions. But since I submitted, I passed and it gives me this result so that I can see what my function looked like. 
right? And so normally as I'm going along, um, filling in a function, I, um, I test it, uh, like I showed you with the code to test your function. Um, and I test it with a pretest to see if it passes. I would normally be writing this out. So I would write out, um, you know, 10, if like I tested it with 10 mile, or miles per hour, and I would write out the dimensional analysis and calculate it and then put the numbers in here. But you have unlimited attempts, so you can actually uh, play around if you if you don't do that.